Next, in terms of um, sporting news, we have this courtesy of The Athletic. Jake Paul, former um, UFC, UFC champion, Tyron Woodley agreed to boxing match. Pretty insane, isn't it? YouTube star Jake Paul and former W, um, sorry, UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley have agreed to a deal for a boxing match. Sources tell the athletic Mike Coppinger. Uh, Paul most recently won by knockout against UFC veteran Ben Askren, who had a 19 and two MMA record in the first round of their main event at the Triller Fight Club celebrity boxing event on April 17th. But again, that's what I mean. When you put stuff in just text form, that's what fighting is so. Um, it's so ephemeral you know whatever that would that term is because we just put it in like black and white like that right ben askren um who had an mma record of 19 and two and he got beat in the first round by a youtuber it makes it sound way worse than what it actually was but askren was coming off you know two fairly brutal um losses especially in the case of his loss to whole game as He's obviously had, you know, debilitating injuries that eventually led him to retire from uh, MMA, considering, you know, he had to get, I think, hip surgery, right? Which I'd imagine isn't the most easiest thing to recover from, especially in terms of athletically. And he's never really been a great striker anyway. It's mostly a grappling dude, mostly a wrestling kind of guy. So going up to face somebody like a, um, like a, um, like a Jake Paul, considering how much bigger he is, considering how more experienced he is in the ring, you know, striking, it was always going to be an uphill task, but we were still hoping as MMA fans that Ben Eskrim would maybe pull it together and be able to maybe, you know, uh, I don't know, tie up Jake Paul, make him, you know, whatever, just make the fight awkward, land some things, but quite soon you definitely saw that the jab power, the overall power overall, the stature, the speed was just too much. And, you know, Ben Askren was definitely on his kind of, you know, the tail end of his career and embarrassingly getting knocked out in a way that he did. It was just hard to take. So when I see stuff like this with Tyron Woodley and Jake Paul, as much as I would love Tyron Woodley to knock Jake Paul's head off his shoulders, it, I just can't see it happening, right? I just can't, like jake paul's gonna win again and he's gonna one by one take out all these veterans that everyone's kind of grown to love over the years and solidify himself as the you know undisputed legend killer of the ufc that's what jake paul will eventually be it continues here says uh, the, the, as, as a pro boxer paul has a three and a record um he knocked out former nba player that seems like ages ago now right nate robinson last november paul 24 recently signed a multi-fight deal with showtime sports again they get into the paper these these fucking poor brothers they're smashing it woodley's last fight in the ufc was a loss to vicente luke in march woodley 39 boasts a 19 7 and 1 professional mma record and is riding a four fight losing streak the last two by finish inside personality logan paul jake paul's brother is set to face hall of fame boxing champion floyd river an exhibition match in june 6 which is initially set for february 20th before da, da, da. so on paper you would still say that jake paul is definitely the favorite for this because if you look at tyron woodley's record this is retirement looking record on from tapology right like whoever this freak of an athlete was back in the day with the power and the speed and the aggression that he had it's just not the same tyron woodley so if you scan down to his record here on tapology you see that of course he's coming off a four fight losing streak his last win coming against Darren Till in 2018, right? Win by Dash Choke. The one after before that was that kind of uh, tetchy fight against Damian Meyer, which then followed the Stephen um, Thompson fight. Yeah, two fights in a row, which were pretty tense in terms of the lack of striking and moving from both. They were trying to both kind of counter each other. It was just a bit of a dead stalemate. Obviously, the Darren Till performance was really impressive, considering Darren Till how highly regarded he is. And then, you know, the downhill trajectory started with Kamaru Usman, right? Completely dismantling him from beginning to end. And then, of course, the lost decision to Gilbert Burns was brutal. Um, the Colby Covington uh, fight as well was brutal, considering their back and forth. Uh, Vicente Luque as well completely demolishing him even though um, this was maybe Tyron Woodley's best fight because it was I think the last one fight in his contract so he kind of went out and he shielded a bit more but whatever we've seen in these last four fights is that Tyron Woodley's punching power isn't what it used to be I know there's a quote now being attributed to Sylvester Stallone where he says something along the lines of um he thinks Tyron Woodley's gonna win because supposedly the last thing to go for as a you know former pro fighter is your punching power you might lose your speed you might lose your agility maybe some of your coordination and your timing no not coordination, maybe your timing but in terms of your actual power if you've always had power you that's the last thing to go so if that's true 
he's still got a puncher's chance, but it's not as if Jake Paul doesn't hit hard. He completely hits hard too. You see what happens to Nate Robinson. Fair enough, Nate Robinson's not a boxer, don't get me wrong, but from what we saw, when he got touched, he felt that. You saw from Ben Askren, when he got touched, he felt that. Um, so far, the only person to really go the distance, I feel like with um, Jake Paul has been Deji, isn't it? Right? He went, not distance, but he went five rounds or something, if I'm not mistaken, with Jake Paul. So I just don't see where this is going to end well for Tyron Woodley I really don't um he, we've not seen that power we've not seen him let his hands go in the ring in the octagon especially in the UFC it's been really frustrating to see how he has over the years kind of diminished in terms of his power his stature his um intimidation appeal right in the ring he used to be you know that kind of muscular flipping big bummed uh, you know massive fight kind of fast twitch athlete he was in the in the octagon slowly but surely kind of diminished he didn't you know he didn't shrink in size but whatever kind of you know uh force that he had in the octagon just completely died i don't know what happened maybe it's just a father time taking over because again he is 39 he's quite long in the tooth when it comes to fighting professionally you know he might be only only 39 in age but in terms of actually dog years and fighting in the octagon it's been a long 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 time so for him to go and suddenly try and fight a 24 year old with you know everything to gain nothing to lose really in this regard because no matter who jake paul fights he's always going to be i think this fight might be the only one where he might be the favorite but in most of them even if he loses he still comes out of it victorious the fact that he's willing to step in the ring with some of these killers is just you know says a lot about him as an athlete as a person so the pressure's always on the professional fighter always on the pressure fighter, especially someone like a you know, like a Tyron Woodley coming off a four loss, uh, a four loose loss streak. It's just I don't know, man. I just I don't see how it's gonna end well. And then we got here this article from MMA Fighting that says Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley will be dropped by a Disney star in two rounds. <laughs> oh, this is horrible, man. This is absolutely horrible. Um, it says here, what did you see in this caption? Um, yeah, let's see here. Ba 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 it's official where's the quote here it says yeah it's a da, da, da. um tyron ran his mouth a little too much in the locker room when i knocked out his best friend uh ben askren and earned himself a top spot in the problem child death list uh tyron's a seasoned striker who's fought in mma fighters around the world but will be dropped by a disney teen star in two rounds this guy is a troll epic proportions. Uh, maybe this time Dana White will actually be a man of his word and put his money um, on his former champion instead of trying to undermine my success like a jealous ex-influencer VMMA. Let's get it on. It's showtime. Oh my God. Paul's boxing resume also includes a highlight real care from NBA guard, Nate Robinson, the undercard of the Triller event. Um, what's in, what Nate Robinson going to do? Does he have to come back and kind of, you know, uh, and a stripe again after that embarrassing knockout. I don't know. But yeah, I'd, uh, I don't know, man. Woodley's making his professional boxing debut after parting ways with the UFC. Let's see, man. Let's see. But I'm not really confident in Tyron's ability to win this fight. I think if you've got any money, probably best to save it and spend it on a date night or buy yourself something nice. You know, there's no reason to put your money on Tyron Woodley. I think it's going to end in tears. Um i think if you want to earn some money maybe put it on jake paul i think there's a good chance that he's going to probably turn it on once more and show the world that <laughs> he's a real legend killer when it comes to taking out some of our hallowed legends in the game i, don't, I just don't see this ending well i really don't i just don't see this ending well but maybe i could be wrong maybe i could be wrong <laughs>